Hello dear student, how are you? I hope you are all doing fine. I am also fine. Thank you. Let's start today topic. Today is lecture number 10 of Boran family that is group 13, third, third group A. In previous last in last previous lecture, I already explained you what about Boran. That what is Boran? How Boran can exist? How Boran can be extracted purely? How can we we extracted Boran in purely state in purely form? And also, I I already explained you the few techniques, a few methods, the few steps of the extraction of Boran. If you have remembered, you can also watch the video in last previous uh, in previous lecture uh, in the comment section. I drop its links or their links. Okay, I also explained you the occurrence of Boran. Okay, but now today we will be discuss. We will be explain the physical property and chemical property of the Boran. Hello, dear student. How are you? I hope you are all doing fine. I am also fine. Thank you. Let's start today topic. Today is lecture number 10 of Boran family that is group 13, third, third group A. In previous last, in last previous lecture, I already explained you what about Boran. That what is Boran? How Boran can exist? How Boran can be extracted purely? How can we, we extracted Boran in purely state, in purely form? And also, I, I already explained you the few techniques, a few methods, the few steps of the extraction of Boran. If you have remembered, you can also watch the video in last previous uh, in previous lecture. Uh, in the comment section, I drop its links or their links. But in today's lecture, I will be explaining you physical properties, chemical properties, as well as I will be explaining you the uses of Boran. Okay, let's start the topic. Okay, thank you. Let's start the topic. Are you ready? Okay. Okay, let's start the topic. That is physical properties of Boran. Physical properties of Boran. Actually, the physical properties of Boran here are some physical properties of Boran. Actually, boron can exist in two form, two electropic form. Boron can exist in two electropic form. Exist in two electropic form. That is crystalline as well as amorphous form. That is crystalline and amorphous form. But here the amorphous form will be powder form uh, when the boron exists in the amorphous form it will be in powder form it will be in powder form with a structure based of cluster of 12 carbon with a structure of 12 cluster of structure of 12 carbon it will be exist in the amorphous form like this sir. with a dark brown color it have be dark brown color Yeah, boron can be exist in the amorphous form. In it will be in powder form as well as it will be contain. It will be in the form of cluster of twelve carbon. Cluster of twelve carbon. It will be exist in the cluster of twelve carbon. Also, it will be their shape. Their color will be dark brown color in the form of crystalline form. In the form of amorphous form. While in crystalline form, it will be gray black. In crystalline form, it will be the color will be gray black non-metallic in both case they will be non-metallic non-metallic and very hard very hard crystalline form this, this boron can be exist in crystalline as well as in amorphous form is it clear here in crystalline one word is also used to another word is also used to crystalline it is uh, called crystalline is also called adamantine adamantine it is the word used for crystalline you can say in some book there are word used that boron can be exist in two forms that is in adamantine or in amorphous form so adamantine or crystalline are same things you can define adamantine or crystalline and it is the structure it is the substance that are unable to broke up means they are very hard they are very solid they are hard solid. Okay, come to the next point. And also, 
in the form of sorry for this remaining thing also in crystalline form boron will be very inert very very inert in the form of crystalline bo form boron will be very inert means uh, it will be very very less reactive it will be show very very stable or you can say that stable means that they are less reactive or less react reaction reactive less very very stable or very very reactive less so these are the properties of a crystalline and a amorphous form of boron i think it will be clear i hope it will be clear so okay go to the next point uh, that is boron can be attacked by hno3 concentrated hno3 boron can be attacked by concentrated hno3 or h2so4 these are non oxidizing acids these are oxidizing acid not non oxidizing these are oxidizing acid but the concentrated hno3 nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid can be attacked on the boron while the non concentrated acid these are concentrated acid these are the uh, oxidizing acids uh, oxidizing acid while the non oxidizing acid that contain that have not any oxygen that is like hcl that cannot have any oxygen that are also called non oxidizing acids uh, means that cannot be oxidized that cannot be add oxygen to another molecule or that is to boron uh, oxidizing acid. so that's why they are called non oxidizing acids uh, concentrated hno3 or h2so4 can be attacked by boron while hcl even at boiling points at boiling concentrated hcl or hf or hf hf is also non oxidizing acid while at boiling non oxidizing acid cannot be react with boron is it clear and also it is boron can be vigorously attacked by fused sodium peroxide fused sodium peroxide strongly attacked by boron sodium peroxide peroxide can be strongly attacked on boron and by fused oxidizing fusion mixture by fused oxidizing fused fusion oxidizing mixture Boron can be vigorously or strongly attacked and by sodium peroxide or by fused fission oxidizing mixture that can be oxidized boron means that can be add oxygen to the boron. I hope this point will be cleared. Also, the another physical property as crystalline form of boron is very hard. Crystalline form of boron is like it is the hardest, uh, second hardest thing in the world after the diamond the diamond is the first hardest thing so boron in the crystalline form in crystalline form it is this hardest thing in crystalline form it is the second hardest thing second hardest hardest substance in the world after diamond while diamond is the first hardest thing in the world or the first hardest substance in the world in hardness is it clear this is also unique point physical property of the boron while the specific gravity of boron is 3.3 the specific gravity of boron is 3.3 that is also unique property of boron 3.3 the specific gravity of boron here both needle like and plate like hexagonal crystal of well, crystalline boron are known means the boron can be exist let's take the correct position of the camera yeah here in crystalline form of boron in crystalline form of boron in crystalline form of boron it can be measured it can be <laughs> in crystalline form of boron it can be known in the needle form it can be also needle form and plate like hexagon plate like 
hexagon hexagon in both structure a crystalline of brown can be exist if it is in needle form like this uh, this is the needle form while this is the plate form like uh, this white border these are in the plate form so brown can be the pin is that is the needle form while the white board is it is the platform so that's why brand can be exist in these two both forms uh, that is in platform as well as in needle like form of but all these form will be in hexagonal hexagonal mean which have six corner this is one hexagon this is complete hexagon structure if you draw that correctly this is like the hexagon structure now I'm cleaning the board. You can take some shower. You can rewind the video. Proceed the topic. Okay, thank you. Boron is also big conductor of electricity. Means electricity cannot be conduct in boron in the in any form of the, either they are in crystalline form or in inverse form. Electricity cannot be conduct in the elect in the boron. Or it is also the uh, big conductor for heat. Heat cannot be conduct in the boron. Also, the another property is amorphous boron is always in brown powder of density having density 2.45 it means the brown will be always in brown color a uh, brown powder and density will be 2.45 and it is very hard surface it has very hard surface to fuse the, it is very hard to fuse the amorphous form of boron that is like that is the amorphous form amorphous are in powder form it is very hard to fuse after and also the melting and boiling point of boron is 2300 degrees centigrade it is the melting point of boron while boiling point of boron is 2550 degrees centigrade respectively also that is the iso it is the structure of boron boron can be exist in 20 phases unit in 20 phases unit that is the 20 phases unit i tried my best the uh, to draw the structure of boron that is I that is also called the 20 phase structure is also called Ico Icosahedron Icosahedron it is also called Icosahedron so it is the Icosa, Icosa, Icosahedron of uh, boron structure boron can be exist in the, these ways these are 12 atom 12 boron atom units so that are linked mm, this is the, the structure of boron you can also search on it on uh, uh, google and you will be uh, see clearly picture of boron icosahedron there okay so now what is the chemical properties of boron these again are the physical properties of boron uh, now so now chemical properties of boron chemical properties of boron Chemical properties of boron. Boron are chemically react with oxygen and air. It can be react with oxygen with and air. Reaction with oxygen and air. Reaction with oxygen and air. Oxygen and air. Or air and with oxygen. So how they can react? The element, the boron element is very inert and it is attacked by only strongest oxidizing agent you know we all, i already explained you but amorphous form that is in the powder form that is the amorphous form that is in the powder form that when they are heated in air or oxygen at 700 degrees centigrade temperature and it can be burned with a reddish flame forming a mixture of oxide or nitride like in case of when they are four boron, when the boron are in amorphous form, mean in powder form, when they are strongly heated with, <laughs> when they are strongly heated in the presence of air, mean in the presence of oxygen. In air, here is oxygen also present as well as um, uh, nitrogen gas also present. Some of uh, other gas are also present, but uh, the maximum concentration of nitrogen and oxygen it will be very great concentration in the atmospheric gases. Uh. So. With the combined of oxygen four boron when they are combined with oxygen when they are combined with three molecules of oxygen it produces two b2o3 that is the oxide of boron so boron can be react with atmospheric oxygen as well as it can react with the boron can react with nitrogen when they are combined with nitrogen 
two molecule uh, in one molecule when they are combined with one molecule of nitrogen then in this case it will be generated it will be produced it will be synthesized to be a molecule these are the reaction with air similarly the reaction with the reaction with water reaction of boron with water reaction of boron with water boron is not affected by water under ordinary condition however when steam water is passed over a hot boron hydro hydrogen is liberated like in case of when steam water are passed when steam water are passed on the boron steam water means when they are high hot means they are the temperature is the more than uh, 100 degree centigrade not more than 100 degree but at 100 degree centigrade they are in steam form they are in gas form when water are in gas form it is called steam so when two boron are take with when water are pass when uh, heat water that is steam water steam when steam water are pass on the boron it produce oxide the b2o3 and the oxygen the hydrogen will be liberated hydrogen will be evolved to the atmosphere similarly boron can be react with boron can be react with acids reaction with acids boron is not affected by non oxidizing as i already told you in the properties boron is not affected by non oxidizing acids not affected boron is not affected by non oxidizing acid oxidizing acids what is mean by non oxidizing as i already told you that non oxidizing acid are those acids that have oxygen atom that have oxygen atom those acids that have oxygen atom are called oxidizing acids while those atom that have that absence that lack oxygen atom will called non oxidizing acid means they cannot be oxidized boron so <laughs> a boron is not affected by non oxidizing acid but it is boron can be attacked by oxidizing acid like uh, the concentrated h2so4 that is that uh, uh, oxidizing acid because it contain oxygen while non oxidizing acid example are hcl hf these are the oxidize these are the non oxidizing acid hi these are strong acids but non oxidizing acid that cannot have oxygen similarly concentrated h2so4 are oxidizing acid hno3 nitric acid are oxidizing acid these acid can be attack these acid can be react with the boron like for example in case of in boron they are treated with three molecule of hno3 nitric acid they will produce when the concentrated boron they will be produce h3bo3 that is boric acid it will be produce boric acid plus nitrogen gas will be evolved three molecule of nitrogen gas it will be evolved to the atmosphere i hope this point will be clear similarly similarly for h2so4 boron can be also attack it is work can also be attacked on boron and the reaction become 2h3 here is also <coughs> boric acid will be produced h3bo3 plus 3 molecule of sulfur dioxide will be evolved to the atmosphere here is 3 molecule of nitrogen dioxide will be evolved to the atmosphere i hope this point will be clear these are the reaction of the reactivity of the boron reactions of the boron so you can take three shot or you can rewind the video now i am cleaning the board to proceed the topic okay thank you these are reaction with water with water okay so the next point a reaction with alkalis to the next point that is fourth point reaction with alkalis boron can be react with alkalis because alkalis are because alkali have uh, mostly alkali are form 
the base uh, like that is sodium hydroxide uh, are also called caustic soda while potassium hydroxide these are also found base while base contain oxygen so that's why it can be oxidized boron and the base will be acted as oxidizing acid oxidizing agent so here in this case boron dissolve in fused alkali here in this case boron can be dissolved in can be dissolved in fused alkali if we are in fused alkali The, uh, it will be liberating hydrogen. For example, in case of when boron uh, uh, reacts with when hydro sodium hydroxide, that is caustic soda, when sodium hydroxide reacts with boron, it will be produce a boric acid plus oxygen hydrogen will be evolved to the atmosphere. It will be evolved to the atmosphere. Similarly, boron can be at, uh, react with this potassium hydroxide. Potassium hydroxide, when they are reacted with potassium hydroxide, it also produces, when they are six, it also produces 2K2SBO3 plus 3H2 will be evolved to the atmosphere. Is it clear? I hope that point will be clear. Okay, come to the next point a reaction with metal. Number five reaction with metal. Reaction of boron with metal. Boron combines with strongly electropositive metals at high temperature, like the alkali metal and alkaline earth metal. Similarly, the group, uh, yeah, like the al alkali and alkaline earth metal, uh, boron can be strongly uh, react with strongly combined with electropositive elements at high temperature. For example, in case of when three magnesium, magnesium is the alkaline earth metal elements. Uh, Elements of alkaline when magnesium when magnesium three atom of magnesium it will react with the B2 molecule at very high temperature at very high temperature at very high heat it will produce Mg3 B2 it will be produced that is also called boride means a magnesium can be metal can be combined with strongly electropositive element. boron can be combined with the strongly electropositive metal that is the uh, here is the mg plus two atoms that is strongly electropositive at very high temperature at high at heat it will produce boride this is the only boron in this group that only form boride while all other elements form hydride all other elements of the groups of the same group of the boron family cannot be attacked cannot be attacked cannot be produced uh, um, cannot be combined with metals uh, and produce bright but it will always be produced uh, allies not will be metal ion metal of compounds i think this point will be cleared so okay to clean the board proceed to the topic So, to the next point, uh, reaction with the non-metal. Reaction with non-metal. Boron forms sulfide when heated with sulfur. S sulfur is non-metal. Sulfur is non-metal. Boron can be formed sulfide when they are treated with sulfur. It will produce sulfide B2S3. That is sulfide. It forms extremely hard, hard substance. It is very really hard substance, hard boron. Uh, similarly, they can be combined with the uh, carbon. It will produce borides, carbon boride. This is also called carbon boride. And carbon boride are very hardest things. It is very hard. It is carbon. That is boron carbide, not carbon boride. It is called boron carbide. It is called boron carbide, which is B four C. When they heat, when be heated with carbon in electric forest, boron combined directly with chlorine and bromine at high temperature. Also, similarly, for example, when four atoms of boron will combine 
with one molecule one atom of carbon at very high temperature at very high temperature in the uh, when high heated in electric formation this are the devices that can this is the instrument sir electric furnace these are the instrument that can provide high heat to the reaction so this reaction will produce procedure and the product will be generated it is b4c carbon carbide and also bran can also combine with the chlorine bromine at high temperature uh, these are are the non metal elements so similarly bran can be react with reducing nature bran have the reducing nature number 7 last point sir bran have reducing nature means it will be reduced to the another thing the another compound to all other compounds that is like in case of when case of they when the bran react with carbon dioxide in atmospheric carbon dioxide it is bran is it is powerful reducing agent sir bran is powerful reducing agent why it is powerful reducing agent it is powerful reducing agent because boron contain one d efficient orbital because it is the electron d efficient compound elements are d efficient elements are means electron are very less uh, electron density is very less as in uh, boron so that's why it reduce the another element or another compound like for example in case of in boron molecule react with uh, uh, that is the carbon dioxide atmospheric carbon dioxide it will be reduce the carbon dioxide and reducing a reduction means that the loss of oxygen loss of oxygen is called reduction it will be reduced reduction will be occur in carbon dioxide and reduction definition is loss of oxygen loss of oxygen is called reduction so that's why it will be reduced while boron will be oxidized it will be oxidized why it will be oxidized because it will gain definition of oxidation is a addition of or gain of gain of oxygen gain of oxygen is called oxidation so boron will be oxidized while while carbon dioxide will be reduced so that's why and here you can clearly see that boron are the reducing agent that are the carbon dioxide is reduced due to the boron so that's why here will be produced here it will be produced two molecule of two compound of b2o3 plus three carbon three carbon will be generated this is the boric in hydride this is the boric in hydride it will be produced similarly boron can be reduced in other compounds or that is like in case of when they are react with the three molecule of silicon oxide it will be they will be uh, reduce silicon oxide and will be produced to b2o3 that that is also called boric acid it will produce boric acid and plus 3 si silicon these are the reducing nature of boron these are the some chemical properties of boron i hope these are will be clear still if you have any confusion if you have any question first you you can rewind the video to clear the topic if you have then you can contact me to my in my personal whatsapp or gmail that i put in description box you can get from there uh, and also you can comment i will reply you okay thank you okay let's proceed the topic to the uses of boron okay now i'm cleaning the board you can take screen shot okay thank you so here use it up boron where boron can be used so start the topic boron boron can be used as a deoxidizer in the casting of copper it is used as a deoxidizer in the casting of copper mean purification of copper in casting of copper boron will be act as a deoxidizer it will be act as a deoxidizer it, it will be uh, deoxidize the another atom or another molecule in the reaction 
Boran can also use a for making boron steel while these are very hard and are used as rod in atomic reactors. For example, it can be used for making boron steel. For making boron steel. While boron steel it is very hard. Boron steel it is very hard as well as uh, it can be used in high atomic it can be used in atomic reactor in atomic reactor for what purpose it can be used in a re atomic reactor it can be used in a re atomic reactor to control the chain reaction to control the reaction to control the neutral in the uh, chain reaction that is fission reaction and fusion reaction to control the fission reaction and fusion, fusion, uh, fusion reaction in fission reaction and fusion are in chain reaction the neutrons are emitted in very large quantity so that's why to control these neutrons to control the reaction of the, uh, these highly um, toxic reaction uh, a top boron can be used the boron steel can be used uh, this is very effective use of the boron in the atomic reactors i hope this point will be cleared it has also very great uses in the trace and the fertility of soil, also in plant metabolism. It can be used the traces of boron, traces of boron compounds. Boron compounds, traces of boron compounds are essential for plants, are essential for plants and for plant metabolism and the fertility of soil and for the fertility of soil so it has very great uses in this in plant metabolism and is in the fertility of soil so next use boron is also used as a catalytic agent as a catalytic agent in many organic reaction it can be used as a catalytic catalytic agent it will be used as a catalyst it will be act as a catalyst the another uses of boron boron can be used in the manufacture of thermometer and thermoregulator can be used in the manufacture of thermoregulator and thermometer manufacture manufacturing of thermometer and thermoregulator thermometer and thermoregulator yeah it can be used in the manufacturing of thermometer and thermoregulator also it can be used as a scavenger brand can be used as a scavenger it will be act as a scavenger to remove gaseous to remove gaseous impurities gaseous impurities from the copper from the copper and a semiconducting material and a semiconducting material conducting material it will be a scavenger scavenger is a person who searches for collect for collection for collecting so it will be act as a uh, scavenger to remove gaseous impurities from the copper and a semiconducting material it will be collect uh, these impurities from the and will be generate will be produced will be synthesized purely copper or purely semiconducting material Okay, go to the correct position of the camera. So the another use is also the hydrides of boron. Hydrides of boron are used as a fuel for rockets. Hydrides of boron is used used as a fuel of the fuel for rocket it is very great 
measure use of the Quran. It can be for the uh, fuel uh, is a fuel for the rocket because of their way why it is used as a hydride uh, hydride is used as a fuel for the rocket sun because the energy weight ratio because of it have high energy weight ratio energy weight ratio means uh, greater amount of uh, less amount of it smaller amount of weight contain large amount of energy so that's why it will be it can be used uh, it has very great effect great use a major use in the uh, in the rocket so i think this point will be cleared so the next point is that is number eight point so number eight, metallic bright and boron metallic boride and boron carbides are used as a abrasive is a abrasive so here metallic borides and boron carbides are used as a abrasive what is mean by abrasive abrasive means Abrasive means causing damage here or removal of surface material by grinding or rubbing, tending to abrade abrasive compounds for whitening of pita, for example, for whitening of pita. Whitening of pita. It can be used uh, 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 to whitening of pita for the uh, abrasive surface. So this has boron has very great effect uh, has very great uses in these things or these all are the use of boron. I hope this will be cleared. If you have any confusion, if you have any question, you can ask me in comment section as well as you can ask me in my personal WhatsApp or Gmail that I put in the description box. You can get from there. Okay, thank you. Also, please subscribe my channel. It makes me feel happy that my students are supporting me. Okay, thank you very much. Very best of luck, my dear students. Very best of luck.